Hello. Are you awake? Are you really awake? Only that day dawns to which we are awake. That's a quote from Henry David Thoreau. I think most of us go through the motions of living. 90% of the time, we're on autopilot. We're not even conscious of what we're doing as we go through our day. Can you stop for a moment and be here now in this moment? This moment is really all you have to work with. That's it. I think because of technology, the entire Western world is suffering from ADD. I've noticed this lately. I've had a lot of friends and family over. And for a few hours every day, I'm holding up to a breathing machine to help me breathe. During that time, I can't really go anywhere. I can't talk. And so, I watch a movie or a TV show. Of all the people that have hung around me during that time, not a single one has watched a movie with me. They always end up on their cell phone or tablet, usually within 15 minutes of the movie starting. These devices come between us. The other day, my children were watching a movie. I sat there with them. When something funny happened, my son looked at me and laughed. I looked back and I laughed too. We shared a moment. And if I had my cell phone, I would not have been able to share that moment. What I worry about is that younger people don't even remember what it was like before the internet, before cell phones. When I was growing up, we had a computer. Not everyone did. But even then, it was portable. It was in one room and you had to go in there and do whatever you want to do on it. And while you were doing that, it couldn't be in the car or having your friends watch a movie while you were on the computer. It didn't work like that. As a result, you didn't have people staring at the screen all day. I probably used the computer less than one hour every day. I mean, Facebook, YouTube, all these things are highly addictive. Facebook is the worst. That company is doing massive psychological damage to a large population. So what can you do? In my life, I found that our attention span is not fixed or permanent. It is flexible. One thing that has helped me is silent meditation. In the spirit of Zen Buddhism, that's really helped me. Other things that have helped me are going for long walks in nature. I love the woods. I've never lived near mountains, but I think I, I would have enjoyed that. They're so beautiful. There's something about being in nature that gives you a little perspective. You know, no matter what problems are going on in your life, every single time you go to the woods, it's the same. The squirrels and all the other animals there, they've been there a long time, and they're probably always going to be there. There's something eternal about it. It's a way to stop that um, never-ending chatter in your mind. You may not realize it, but you have these constant thoughts, 
coming up in your mind, and there is a way to sil silence them. And uh, you know, for me, being in the woods is, is one way they really help me. Other habits are, you know, reading books, actual books, doing chores around the house, and just generally setting a rule that you're not going to use your computer until, say, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then you're going to turn it off a long time before bedtime, probably like 8 o'clock, no more computer for the day. If you do these things, you'll find that your, your attention span increases, and the effect is rather quick. It's not a slow progression. You're going to find yourself having a lot more attention ability. And I mean, really, that makes you better at almost everything in life. The ability to pay attention is super important. And you can enjoy those moments more. So what do you think? You want to be awake? Life is unfolding right now. This day will never happen again. Don't miss it. By the way, thank you all for your donations. Thank you for your emails. Shout out to Charlie Hatcher for that email. Shout out to Ciro De Rosa. And all your comments. Graham, been reading a lot of yours lately. And many others. Too many to name. Well, have a nice day.